Sometimes I think about my life and whether I've made the most of it. Where I was and where I am now. Have I really been living in the moment most of my life or have I made the most of my talents? Have I done a good job just living? I know it sounds strange, but sometimes I do think about that. If I had to start all over again, would I live it the same way? Or maybe would I do things differently? I don't know. I guess the answer is to make the most of today and to enjoy the here and now and to look forward to the future. Think about how great it is going to be tomorrow. Hello again, this is Sandra Hart of Life Over 60. Thank you so much for joining me today. So glad to have you along on this YouTube journey of mine. I wanted to get this video up before the end of March because March is Women's History Month. So I wanted to do a video talking about us and especially us mature women that feel like they're getting older and that everything is over. Well, you know my mantra. It is always, it's never over till it's over. And do never, never, never let your age define you. And don't feel that if you're 50 or 65 or in your 70s or even 80s, do not feel that your life is over. You know, the Kauffman Foundation has done research and they have discovered that most entrepreneurial startups and the ones that survive and are the very best are those that have been started by women 55 and over. So that is the group that we are in. So mature women, friends of mine, do not be afraid that just because you're retired, just because your kids have left the nest, that you cannot open another chapter in your life. So today I'm going to talk about a few awesome women that are 50 and over that have started their own uh, corporations or their own uh, different entities after they have retired that uh, I think we would be interested in hearing about is Ernestine Shepard. Now she is a female bodybuilder and she started at the age of 58 and she is still going strong. She has not let age define her physical body and she has worked very hard at bodybuilding and has won a lot of different trophies and awards and is very well known for her curvaceous, shapely and muscular body. So she is another one who has not let her age defined her saying, oh, I can't do it. You know, everybody says, you know, that I'm too old. And don't ever, ever have that message ingrained into your psyche. You are never too old for anything, especially today, because the new, new 40 is the new 30, and the new 50 is the new 40, and uh, it goes on down the line. So don't ever think that. The third person is Carol Gardner. She was divorced in a deep, deep depression and she just started taking pictures of her dog and in funny costumes in her house and she started making cards out of them in her living room. She was doing this. Well, she has been able to build up a $50 million business through her greeting cards, through her merchandise, and uh, she has statuary. She has been able to branch out and build a huge, huge business. And she did that when she was in her 50s. So that is another one that you really can relate to and think about 
gee, you know, I am 55, I'm 65, I'm 75, I'm too old. You're never too old. And then, of course, there was Grandma Mosa. She didn't start painting until she was in her late 70s, and she continued to paint for 25 more years. She became world famous, a wide household name, and was able to sell a lot of her paintings. But her paintings gave her fulfillment, and I think probably that's why she was able to have such a long life, because she was doing what she loved to do. And I think that really is true for all of us. We need a passion. We need something to make us feel alive and to make us want to get up every day and to look forward to a new challenge every single day. So if you have an idea of what you want to do, don't ever think that it is too late. And another one that I know that if you're in the makeup community, you all know, and that is Cindy Joseph. Cindy Joseph started modeling in her late 40s and then in her 50s she uh, created Boom Cosmetics so she created her Boom line and she is one that is someone after my own heart. She is not anti-aging, she is pro-aging. She is willing to get the wrinkles, she is willing to recognize that she is getting older so she is a great champion of aging, aging beautifully, and aging gracefully. And after all, isn't that what we are all after? Aging gracefully, because we can't stop it. You know, unfortunately, we can't stop it. So if we can move forward and appreciate every single year that we live and fill it with energy and things that we love to do, that's, that's the secret. That really is the secret, isn't it? And another person in the cosmetic industry that is an acquaintance of mine and I love very dearly, it's Linda Roden. Now, Linda Roden started out as a young girl. She was a model in Europe, came back and became a stylist. As a matter of fact, she did all of the um, Victoria's Secret Angel style shows. And also, she, in her spare time, in her bathroom and kitchen, created Olio Luso, which is her, where it was her uh, natural line of oil, oils. And uh, she was able to sell those. She got in Vogue magazine and a lot of the big magazines. And then she started doing lipsticks, but these were all natural products. And then from there, just about two years ago, Estee Lauder bought her out. So in her uh, mid-60s, she was able to take a business that she started in her bathroom and in her kitchen and eventually have it being desired and realize it was a great, great product by Estee Lauder. So you never know from very small beginnings, large things can happen. And another entrepreneur I want to talk about is Maxine Clark. Maxine Clark would go shopping with her children and her grandchildren and she realized that when she went into the tour stores, some of the bears and the teddy bears the kids just didn't like. She asked them to pick out a teddy bear and they didn't want any of them because they couldn't find one that really touched their heart and they wanted to cuddle. So she thought, hey, you know, there is perhaps something that I can do. So she created Build-A-Bear. And she has franchises all over the country where children can come and put their own bear parts together and personalize it and can build their own bear. Now, what an ingenious idea. I wish I would have thought of that. Many of these ideas, you know, I wish I would have thought of. But they're out there, and I know so many of you are very creative, so I'm sure you've got tons of ideas rolling around in your head and today, with all the technology that we have, it's not that hard to really start up a small business with Etsy and eBay to do it from your own home. That is what's so great about this technological age that we are living in. So I've given you some examples. There are others that I'll put below uh, in the description of the people that I have not mentioned. 
But you are unique. You have unique talents and you're never too old to express those talents. Even if you just do it for yourself, you get self-satisfaction out of creating or doing something of, of that really you can call your own, whether it's baking cookies or making pie or taking your grandmother's recipe or your mother's recipe and making it and, and giving it to friends. Everybody can be creative and, and do something that is entrepreneurial if you want to on a small level or a very, very big level. But you can start very, very small. And just as long as you are happy and you are being fulfilled in your life, that's exactly what it's all about. And please always remember, it's not the age you are, but it's your vision. It's your vision for fulfillment and it's your vision for happiness and your vision to live a full life each and every day. Thank you for coming. Uh, it's the end of uh, Women's History Month. I hope you've enjoyed this video and got something out of it. And I hope you will think about doing something, doing a project, some kind of small project. You know what your talents are. Uh, see if you can do that and, and be a little bit more fulfilled in your daily life. It's never, ever, ever too late. Don't ever say that to yourself. Oh, I have a dream, but it's too late for me. I'm 50, I'm 60, I'm 70, I'm 80. That's not so. Not today anyway. It is absolutely never too late to live your dream. Have a great day today. Do something really good for yourself. Please be kind to someone else and also don't forget to share the love because this world needs it right now. Have a great day and I'll see you in my next video.